Hello everyone, welcome back to Words of Weather. I'm Zach Duhiman, this is a show all about weather. Unfortunately, today is a sad day for me. This will be my last Words of Weather episode ever, as I'll be graduating Hamden High School in just a few short days. It's been a great run the last two seasons, thanks to so many people, and I'll get back to that at, towards the end of the show. But first of all, I gotta make things a little funny here, because you know, I don't want any tears coming out of my eyes, so I'm gonna make it funny now. So, the polar vortex. Obviously we're in the summer, so who the heck cares about this? Well, I made a little funny Note on my shirt, you can see right there, because this is our senior shirt, and actually it was not just made for me, I, everyone asked me that, this is actually our senior shirt, and you can see all the weather events that has happened since I was a freshman here. Some people blame it because I'm here, and that's on the weather guy. But in the last one, I had to etch it myself, actually, last night with the Sharpie, was a polar vortex, because we didn't have any hurricanes, any massive storms or snowstorms this year, like the blizzard a few years back. But what we did have is the polar vortex. And again, without getting too technical, I'll quickly recap what the polar vortex is. It's basically an upper atmospheric storm that kind of spins in Canada and basically brings down the cold air and this is the jet stream. And over the winter, we had that dive in the jet stream, the big temperature gradient. Remember, temperature gradient is the, the biggest difference between temperatures. And we had warm air right off the coast, cold air in the heart of the um, lower 48 here. And right here where Connecticut is, you had a lot of storms forming, riding up the coast, forming major snowstorms. Now, we haven't had anything over a foot this year with snow this past winter, which seems like last year we had 30-something inches with the blizzard. But again, we had several smaller storms that added up almost as much snow as the blizzard, close to 70 inches for a season total. So of the whole 2013-2014 school year, this is probably the most memorable part was the polar vortex, which brought the cold and plenty of snow through January and much of February this year. Now that I got that out of the way, obviously we're into the summer forecast, we're into the hot and humidity. Hum it's going to become humid, it's going to become hot. This is definitely going to occur in the next few weeks. Obviously school will be ending soon, so I won't be able to do another show about it. But that's what the long-range forecasting models do show. Well, now that you've seen why I kind of have this funny shirt on and this map behind me, I'm going to take a look back at some of the best memories I've had doing words weather shows. As you see more of a flat uh, west-east flow, and this is a general mild flow or milder. Now, why we're not getting direct hit? That's because the pattern supports it going out to sea rather than up the coast. Yeah, I hate to put you on the spot, Quincy, because you know it's it's tough. You know that's what we did last time during what's going to happen this year. We went north back into right it. Right there, then... there we go, guys. Got to look so, quick. So but... that's a live tornado, a live tornado that this man right here was chasing. So, we have an awesome uh, website that's called WeatherEdge.com, and we have a lot of people who contribute and write to the site. Yes. This is actually one of the uh, contributors. So this is how the green screen works, and then you have a clicker and you click through all of it. It's pretty interesting, it's really tough to do Monday, and if you watch when I move out of the way, we go from 24 to 20, and then there's actually a uh, big temperature difference over a stretched out area where you can get a strengthening weather fund. Yeah. Uh, how this could potentially affect our summer and of course our winter. With that said, again, enjoy the warm fellow has it and hopefully see you later on guys. This is my shot and my forecast. Hope you guys liked it. The green screen is pretty cool. It's hard to work, but after this, I'll probably get used to it more. And this is my future. Hopefully I'll be in front of this one day. Do my own forecast on live TV. Wow, some great memories I've had during the past few years of this show. I have to thank a few people, but before I thank everyone, I also want to bring up that Hamden High School has been an absolute amazing experience for me. Anyone else, I could have been Zachary Duhame, but not only here, I've been known as a weather lord. And that started actually during the October Nor'easter three years ago when people thought that I was just a student that liked the weather, but then soon realized that I was actually an accurate forecaster. I made a Twitter because people were hashtagging weather lord and I was trending through the local area. And I'm proud to say I finally have close to 1,200 followers from grandparents, students, teachers, staff. I even know Ray Mike's, for instance, in Hampton follows me for weather updates. So many businesses, and I can't forget the meteorologists have been great on Twitter, helping me out with talking about severe weather, you know, hurricanes and stuff. So that's, Hampton High School is the reason why I am who I am today, and that's, that's without a doubt. I would never have this show, I would never have this studio without this opportunity I've had at Hampton High School. I have to thank Gil Simmons, I say meteorologist Gil Simmons, Meteorologist Erica Martin, meteorologist Sam Cantro, meteorologist Quincy Vigo, meteorologist um, Kevin Arnone for all their help they've done in the last few years. I want to thank Mr. Rabinowitz for coming on my show a few years ago. I want to thank any other, my other viewers and teachers here at Hamden High School. I have to shout out Mr. Abate, who is the meteorology teacher, David Abate. Without this guy, I would never, never have been who I am. Him and I email each other back and forth daily with forecast updates, hurricanes, blizzards, you name it. We're always in touch. He, I'm going to miss that guy more than anyone in this school. 
and I have to give the biggest, biggest, biggest thanks to Mrs. Kathy Gentile, who without her, the studio I'm in right now, the TV, the green screen, everything I've used in the past several months would have not been here without her and her ability to write this grant for the school to get a, a, over a six-figure studio here at Hamden High School. Also, Chris, come in here. I got to thank my main man, Chris, Chris Gemlin. Without this man, I would never have got the great quality videos I've got. I've never been able to go off-site into News 8 to other locations. So thank you again, Christopher. I mean, he's, he's the man here. And we'll be keeping in touch because you never know. Yes. He could be filming in the real, in the real world as you're, you're majoring in communications, right? Yeah, communications. Stay in touch. Stay in touch, Zach, because I'm going to communications for broadcasting. Maybe we'll be working in the same TV studio sometime. Maybe, maybe. Sorry, guys. I had my mic. He is not mic'd up, Sorry. so you probably can't hear him. But, yeah, so he's going to be majoring in communications. I'm majoring in meteorology. And, hey, in the end, you never know. Well, All thanks, right. Chris. I appreciate it. Yes, I'll be attending Western Connecticut State University and hoping to major in operational meteorology, which basically means broadcast meteorology. Again, it may take me a few more years. It's a very, very, very rigorous course. I voted one of the hardest majors at WestCon, actually, at this current time, but I have every intention to become who I want to become, and that's a meteorologist. So, guys, I'm sad to say, but I'm signing off for the last time ever. I have my two great scenes of Words of Weather. I'm future meteorologist Zach Duhame, and this, it's Words of Weather. <laughs>